Hey, it's Tupac, and this is Dysfunctional Systems, and, uh, yeah, I was actually listening to the title screen. It's got some awesome music once it starts to get going. Like, at first I thought it was just this ambient thing, but then it picked up its pace, because I wasn't paying attention. Anyways, wait, don't reference things that I mummed to myself before he came here, creep. Then you understand the situation. Yes, but I'm curious, isn't this more like a level 5 war? As Brighton and Gabri are technically separate, I can't call what might happen in a civil war. Oh, what might happen in a civil war. Then it's a technicality. Just a technicality? I figured Brighton and Gabri were still very close. Well, look at you, you're all calm. I frown with indignation. I'm not at all calm, if this is essentially a level 5 war. Well, you look it. I do not let up with my frown. Well, there is... Well, that is all there... Isn't all there is now. How might this... How this might proceed largely has to do with what level I would give this potential war. Cyrus stops, and I stop in turn. We are now in front of a fountain. It took me the entire time to realize now... Till now to realize... That the city streets are deserted, the doorways are even clear of those ragged children who would ask us for pennies. Could it be that everyone is listening to the address? Before I can drift off on this thought, Cyrus looks down at me. A nuclear weapon is one that can kill a lot of people and destroy a lot of things almost instantly. Um... Ex excuse me? Honestly, Winter, what did you think I'd meant earlier when I said a lot of dying could be expected? I won't go into the details, but it's not something you would have been taught about yet. I've dealt with it before, though. You're lucky. I'm not lucky at all. Not even in the little slightest. Little is slightest. What kind of thing is that? Is it magic? This isn't a magical world, Winter. Think the higher-ups you won't be going to those just yet. They're less fun than they sound. I should not be going to worlds with wars, either. Hmm. <laughs> Point. You can check your codex for information about what we'll be dealing with if you'd like. I'll need to contact support and update them anyway, so at least it will give you something to do while you wait. What is it called exactly? Just nuclear weapon seems rather broad, like spear weapon or fruit drink. I believe that it's a fusion bomb. While Barnaby didn't specify, the rumor I heard also supports it. Also, it does make sense, considering their reactors. Reactors? You forgot? We saw them when we first arrived. This country utilizes fusion reactors for power. Ah, uh, right. The looming and shattery giants that stand on distant steps. I remember not wanting to remember them. They were disconcerting. Like many other things here, they looked a mess, and unlike many other things here, they vibrated. I thought they were going to violently break apart. Anyway, fusion bomb should be under Skype. Oh no. Give me a sec. <laughs> Skype, stop. Okay. Oh, it's my mom. Mom, stop. I'm recording right now. Stop. Stop, please. Oh, and I'm getting t texted. What? Uh, anyway, fusion bomb should be under weapons, obviously. It's n technically not pure fa fusion, but the words most worlds can only do so much. Where am I? Oh. Not pure. All its limited reaction jumps started by fission. True fusion bombs are rather like man-made stars. Stars are beautiful. Not the word I'd use for those. Just keep the distinction in mind and read that fusion bomb entry. Right, right, understood. Okay, let's check it out. Gabriel. Um. Where's the fusion bomb? Entry. Oh. Oh, this is just new then. Did I not read this? Gabriel's major society on Sewell. 
uh, marked by extreme wealth and influence. British society on Sewell and has connections to nearly, with nearly all other Sewell societies. Sewell. Sule. Uh, currently a patri patriarchal monarchy with socialist leanings, government funded health, education, welfare. Majority of mediations on Sewell have dealt with this society. Began as nomadic, trading people quickly establishing a reputation for their amiability and good dealings. Trust was heavily placed in them for their reliability and they often ended up playing intermediate intermediary between several budding nations on their home continent. Uh, at some point in time, they founded the Gabrian nation. Uh, they amassed the military and turned to imperialistic goals. They had much of the world under influence. Largely responsible for the technical technological advancement of S eight six five nine five four one. Um they're much faster technical technological overview. Technologically. Uh da, 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 da. remains at the top. Okay. They didn't give me a thing on that. A mumble this as Cyrus turns from me and begins raising his wrist to his mouth. He suddenly pauses, though, and addresses me again. Oh, in winter, while you're at it, check out the appropriate entries pertaining to this world. Always mind your codex, it could save lives. Remember to keep tabs on it. Understood, sir. Look at my own wrist, both of us sporting bracelets which look very similar to stylish and thin digital watches. We have to regularly hide them from view, as we are advised that they are considered suspicious-looking things, usually. Hey, it's Cyrus. You guys probably noticed there's trouble at this world. Yes, more trouble. Cut the... Cut the cut... Cutesy crap. This isn't the time. I'm actually... Well, he's actually what, exactly? I look at him. He notices that I'm listening and shifts a little, walks out of my range of hearing. That is worrisome. Look back at my wrist device, my ICD. An implanter communication device. A name which does not actually cover all that it does. It also carries a database and tells time and probably tells a thousand other things as it is, as it is fancy. Lastly, if there is anything magical I have encountered so far as a student mediator, it's most definitely the ICD, science magic or some such. It basically does everything. It's how we get to other worlds and teleport around them. And it can open up a tiny pocket dimension for holding things. An inventory, it's called. I think it's pretty cool. Why are you calling me? I said I was busy. I said I was busy. And it came from my own world. I would never have imagined. It wasn't even my mom that time. Oh, that's why. I didn't tell them I was busy. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. I mean... I am busy. I don't know if I said it before. <laughs> And it came from my own world, I would have never imagined. Right now I need to access the codex. I focus this thought, open the codex, and the device recognizes the command as it is linked with my mind, which is awesome. That is awesome, I want that. A tiny holographic screen emits from this device in a rather inconspicuous fashion, yet still in an in acceptably readable size. I begin to navigate the database, searching for, well, let's see. Sewell, Brighton, Gabria, and Ferdia too, I suppose. I think I'll leave Fusion Bomb for last. Oh, okay. So here's, oh my gosh, Ferdia. Major Society, one of the top three, rich culture and extreme aggressiveness. Major works of art, literature, and music, and its army and navy are unrivaled by any other. Direct democracy, emphasizing fairness and the power of the individual. Uh, numerous and frequent wars. Developments in aeronautics. Um, 
unusual degree of boldness. Extraordinarily ter ter territorial and protective of its people. Um, never forget the slights made against their people after vi and, viol and after violently expanding its borders to scare off enemies. Spent much of his time warring nations that have insulted them in the past. Uh, oh, initiated 251 wars and have participated in 253. Has been said stereotyped as a nation of violent roughhousing. While true to a point, they tend to be incredibly defensive and quick tempered. Reports indicate that Ferdians are generally quite jovial and creative. They are also the least discriminate. Discrimin discriminatory nation on Sewell. An expression that of theirs is that they hate everyone equally. But the truth is that they're only surprisingly open to immigration. But the truth is that they're surprisingly open to immigration and cultural diversity. It seems that they only ever take issue with countries themselves rather than the country's people. Hmm. Oh, as welcome and welcoming and as charismatic as they are, do not fall prey to their influence. The war, that war is severely chaotic. War, remember that war is severely chaotic. Um, tensions are always high. Okay, fusion bomb. There it is. Looks like a, could be a Digimon or something with its eye there. Digimon, I w wasn't that interested in but I think they could do more oh change pictures it could do more like non non biological stuff like robots and stuff like that or maybe yeah I think I'm somewhat right like they weren't necessarily all biotic biotic I think that's the word. Ah, my foot is caught in my chair. I'm sorry. Okay, fusion bombs, also known as nukes, are highly destructive weapons fueled primarily by nuclear fission. Fusion. Uh, obliterating cities to entire countries in all in a few moments. Their possession is often quite efficient and it's quickly silencing opposition. Stability is often reached, however, when opposing or multiple societies possess the weapons. Mutually assured destruction tends to prevent societies from risk risking angering one another. Fusion bombs are also notable for their fallout, which often takes several decades to dissipate. Um, fallout is the result. Uh, da, 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 it's radioactive. Okay. I think we... I don't know if we need to go all the way into that, but... Certainly, this is amazing. I smile pleasantly in admiration of technology. Most unfortunately, my smile is very, very temporary. As it turns out, the fusion bomb is incredibly horrible. It is a weapon that will detonate and destroy everything in a very large radius with a disturbing rap rapidity. rapidity. In its wake, is a kind of miasma that is so powerful that it sticks to a place for several decades before dissipating. Totally just clicked out of the window. Okay, there it is. It causes sickness to those who did not die and greatly increased the chance of cancer or mutations in the children of survivors. Once again, I am affronted by the sense of unreal unreality that has persisted through since my induction into the Mediatorum. This is not even something you would read about in the storybooks. This is not a thing one can imagine. Why would you kill somebody else? Why would you kill hundreds, thousands, millions, and what's more, with such effects? What does that accomplish? They said I would not understand it for a long time, that it would be covered later on in my schooling, and that until then I would not be allowed to mediate wars. I need to understand this now, though. It may go down in a matter of hours. What will happen if I remain this foolish ignorance of mine? Remain in this foolish ignorance. My heart thumps and my stomach twists. I put my hand over my mouth and squeeze my eyes shut. I'm not the time to freak out, but I'm freaking out a lot today. Winter. Ah. Come on, calm down. We'll make it through this and you'll be better for it. Okay. Sorry, I'm tired. 
I close my codex and look at Cyrus, who has placed his hands on my shoulders. The gesture does not help. For some reason, it makes me feel worse. My heart tightens and tears escape from my lids. I feel the same feeling that comes when I imagine how it would be if my dad were to die. Only the feeling is much more distorted and disgusting. I answer Cyrus with a warbling voice as my emotions are in tatters. I I'm sorry, sir, but I don't understand. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Winter, come on, hey, you aren't stupid, you're a smart girl. I am, I am, I am. I'm incredibly stupid, you know it. You're, you're just a bit hard-headed, it's okay. You're young, Winter, and you're strong too. You're strong, Winter. I just don't get it, I'm sorry. I raise my head and look at his face. Through my tears, I can see that Cyrus's cheeks are more flushed than my own. He jumps a little, as if he were startled, and hugs my head to his chest. His heart is beating very fast, and I clutch the bottom of his shirt. When he speaks, his voice reverberates through his body in a powerful way. So powerful that I even feel a little more confident. We will not fail. And I feel like that's a good note to go out on. Oh. No, it's not. <laughs> I thought I had recorded longer. Oops. Uh, okay, we'll keep going then. I gotta go, but I haven't recorded very long. I could ramble for some some more time if you want me to. I don't know. I just felt like that was a good <laughs> good place to leave off at. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I'm just gonna end it. I'm sorry. It's a little shorter than I had wanted it to be. But I gotta get out and do uh, the. What was I gonna say? short novel Sunday. I gotta record that today. So that's why I'm kind of rushed. I'm pressed for time. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.